<clears throat> I took my uh, first half ring off of the clamp or off of the uh, yeah, clamping table I guess I'll call it and my, my jig and I pulled it a little tighter with just the one clamp so I'm going to remove that now and see how what kind of spring back I get and then I'm going to put it back on here and see how it fits. So I'm going to do that. So it's been about um, plus hours anyway. It's, it's come apart quite a bit, probably uh, three quarters of an inch on either side. But I don't see that as being well, maybe a little less than that. Yeah, three quarter. But I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure I'll be able to pull that. Not pretty sure. I know I'll be able to pull that together. And what I've got in mind is. sure I got this on camera. I know I don't. Maybe I had some of it. Anyway, there we are. I'll clean this up and I can pull it together with a clamp. It doesn't take all that much pressure. So that'll it'll it'll still go where I want it to go. And I'll be able to uh, marks here. Just like that. But that'll work out fine. I'm, I'm happy with that. Much happier than than having the four joints. So what I'm going to do is I'll make a mark here. Get this out of the way. mark uh, you know halfway here and there cut it at 90 degrees is on my uh, miter saw and then um, I'm going to use I'm going to use these as like my stitch because it's got that curve to it I'll find one that the curve like that one right there matches pretty well better right there. So I'll I'll uh, I'll put it on my on my back on my table here and then glue it together here and here and then set it back down and see how I'm gonna attach it whether I can just do a straight screw in through here with my Craig jig or if I'm going to glue it to, to blocks. You know, I am going to have these cross members coming in here too. So, um, I can screw through this into that as well. And then put my decorative block. I'm going to have four decorative blocks to hide the, hide these two seams. And then I'll just do two like faux blocks, uh, uh, decorative blocks on the outside. Uh, to give it some balance. So I think it's going to work out good. I, I, I like the way it looks and the way it's working out. So anyway, let me uh, get the other one on here. I'm going to rotate my jig 180 degrees. You can see I've got these numbered 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2. So then I'm, now I'm going to go 2, use the 2 blocks and glue on that side so I get 
I make sure that I'm gonna get uh, what I want here. So we'll do that and then we'll come back. But, but while that's setting up, while this other one is setting up, I can I can work on this one. I can uh, run it through my table saw and clean it up a little bit, sand it, and get it going. Okay, side number two is in the books. So I'll just have to let it uh, cook, you know, uh, overnight here. And then I'll be able to, to take this off and make my marks again and cut it and work it like the other one. So I'm going to start working on that other one. I'm going to start uh, smoothing one edge, running through my table saw. I want to get, I made these a little over three inches. Yeah, just a hair over three. And I want to get it at least two and three quarter out of them, which will I don't think will be a problem at all. So I'll get I'll get going on that. Okay, I cleaned up the one side with my uh, jack plane here. say cleaned up I didn't take it I didn't take it right down where I, you know where I was perfectly flush on all I just got the glue off and some of the high spots now I'm gonna attempt to run this through I've got my table saw set to just under three inches and see if I can't take a skim cut here and uh, then see what I have spots here where I kind of wobbled a little bit and I got you know, some some blade gouge I guess I'll call it not too bad I'm gonna flip it in you know, uh, end for end here and try it on this side see if I can be a little smoother I want to try and keep as much as I can in these fingers you know to keep it tight to the Thank you, fence. I'll concentrate on that a little better this time.
Let me look at that. So I'm going to bump my saw over just a little bit more. I'm not going to take my final cut yet because I want to do them both at the same time. But I'm still uh, well above two and seven eighths. So I'm just going to skim it again here. And I'm thinking that maybe uh, two and seven eighths will be my final dimension. So let's try this side one more time. Yeah, this is the side. Yeah. This side, this is the side that's got the gouges in it. So one more time and then we'll be done with this operation. I really don't know any other way to do this. I, I realize I'm sticking my hand in there, but trust me, I want, I'm being very careful. I don't want to have anything to do with that blade. sits good. So I can start sanding on the outside here. That's not going to change anything if I sand the surface. So let me figure out how I'm going to hold and do that. Yeah, I'm pleased with the way it's turned out. All right, this is my Mox and Vice that uh, it's close to the version that we're going to be selling, and we're actually we're going to be selling a kit. It's perfect <laughs> for for doing something like this. I can I can hold it now and I can sand this edge. So I'm going to cut some paper. Uh, I'm going to start at 150 because this plywood is pretty smooth already. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start on this edge and see how it turns out. But this is just fantastic for holding this. I mean it's there it's free. Now I can rotate it to wherever I want. Locked. Not going anywhere. Beautiful. So let me get started on this. Fantastic piece of uh, woodworking equipment and like I said I there's really no other way for me to hold it I've got my other bench vice over here that would probably do the same but as far as setup and and uh, reclamping and this is just so much faster let me cut some paper and I'll show you how it's going to work for sanding it
It doesn't get any easier than that, I'm telling you. There we go, that's gonna be nice. I just keep going through the grits here. I can even sand the end of this in this position. There we go, that's to 220. I'm gonna flip it and get the other end here. surgery get that one out anyway that's uh that's my moxin and I'm glad I have it right now to take the edge off of these others here too slivers. Alright, that did not take long at all. I mean, being able to hold my work like that and then obviously this helped because I had one of these cutoffs, but I really didn't even need to do that if I had a foam block or something else I could have formed that around there. But that's a, that's a nice looking nice looking piece right now. Sanded to 220 and just about ready to go. Once my other piece dries, I'll, uh, I'll cut up to length. There we go. And then um, I had another thought of how I was going to join them together. I've got these extra pieces here. Let me widen this out and not zoom in. I've got these extra pieces that uh, are left over. I, I can uh, basically put them on the inside here like this and glue them, glue the two rings together. Maybe that's not conforming, but you get the idea. So it'll give me more surface area and a little thinner profile and I can I can extend those just about all the way around on the inside and then I'll have a full ring that I can attach rather than attaching two halves. So I'm, I'm, I'm pondering some thought on doing that too but right now that's that's my my lead idea, I guess, for for um, 
gluing them both together. All right, while I'm waiting for my uh, uh, other bent lamination to dry, I can work on these pieces that I'm going to use to thicken the table. And what I've done here is I've taken a board of maple and I've traced out. This is the outer circle here. And then this is just a rough inner circle. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten this board on this outside face, uh, bandsaw it, and then rip. I should be able to get uh, three strips out of this. And I'm going to see where that puts me. But then I can come back here and cut another arc. It'll be a little shorter. That's okay. And uh, see how many I need to get around the outside of my table. So that's what I'm going to work on next.